we're going to do something that I've always thought was pretty simple. We're going to take this external enclosure and this hard drive, which is a bad hard drive that I've covered up the information on, just using it as an example device. And we're going to put these together to make our own external hard drive. Obviously, the first step will be to get into this thing. This is a Vantec Nexstar 6G. The 6G really just means that it's a six gigabit per second SATA 3 interface here internally. You have to take the internal sled out, this thing. Just get this out of the way. You take this sled out and you'll notice there are four holes on the bottom. Let's get this here. The hard drive has four screw holes on the bottom. There's the SATA interface. Now, let me show you how easy this really is. You take this, you take your hard drive, and you have to get the hard drive to hook up to this. And you have to get the holes to line up with these. All you have to do is put the drive in the enclosure like that. You need to catch the SATA interface though, so kind of put it in at an angle. Notice that at that angle, it's hooking up to that interface. So you put it in there. You actually can drop it in place, but it's a little easier in some of these to put it in an angle. And just pull it so that it makes contact all the way. You pull it back towards the board until it won't go anymore. Those holes on the bottom actually line up pretty well. The problem is the drive will try to fall out. So let's see what they've given us. Here's your power cord that you don't need right now. A look, an American plug. And here's a stand that we don't need right now. And the screw kit. So let's go ahead and shove this off the table. Screw kit. Um, there are two screws that hold this particular unit sled inside the aluminum enclosure. And there are four screws for the hard drive. It is as simple as taking one of these screws and you hold the hard drive in place so it doesn't fall out, get a screw in the bottom of the drive, and screw it in. Once you've got one in, you can do the other four very easily. And then put the sled back in the way it originally was. There are holes on the side for your remaining mount screws to go in. And you put them in here. I'm not going to do it all the way because I don't want that drive in. It's a bad drive. But that's it. You put the screws in the side, you put the screws in the bottom of the drive, and now you just wire up your AC adapter and USB cable like any other external hard drive you'd buy in the store. It really is that simple.